guy has made a show of going on a date with a woman from every state. And let me just show you why he's getting a lot of hate. I think it's fair to say that my guy has a type. But here's what really makes me mad. This is the girl he went on a date with from Hawaii. Like, sir, what you not finna do? You not finna play us, sir. You not finna play us, sir. Then this is the girl he went on a date with from New Mexico, who is actually, if you look on her Instagram, from Long Island. So, sir, if you have a type, you didn't even have to go across 50 states for that. Like, you really just dated the same girl in every single state. Like, I, where, where? Where is the seasoning? Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments, because I'm feeling like this was unnecessary. White men are not obligated to date and marry black women. There is no affirmative action in dating and mating. Men can be attracted to whatever race or ethnicity of women that they want. And also, by the way, most men tend to be attracted to women within their ethnic group. Don't believe me? Just look at the marriage stats. By and large, people are still marrying within their own ethnic group. So a white man going around 50 states and choosing to date white women is not surprising. It's not racist. There's not some like weird undertone. It's actually quite natural. People who love and like themselves generally tend to pick other people who favor them physically. Like I said, this is not new. And so this is one of the reasons why I don't like the way the whole swirling conversation has gone online. Well, I have no issue with interracial relationships. It almost gives black women in particular this false expectation that other races of men are now obligated to pick them. And they're not. Even if you are open to dating or, or you know, a white man or being with a white man does not mean that he has to be open to you back. Doesn't mean he has to choose you. There are some men at the end of the day who their preference is going to be their women. A lot of white men at the end of the day, their preference is white women. There's nothing wrong with that. That is okay. That is healthy. That is natural. That doesn't need to be policed. But we need to stop shaming guys. In my opinion, you got to stop shaming guys for doing what is quite natural. There is no affirmative action in dating and mating, period. And that's okay. Let men have their preference. If the guy doesn't like you, fine. Find somebody else who does. But the whole need to try to police what men like and why they like, to me, it's just weird. And sometimes it makes black women look desperate if we continue to try to scrutinize why white men like white women. They like white women because a lot of them want kids who look like themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is okay.